right, so next project. Um, previously in another video, uh, I believe it was my walk around video, I mentioned these valves leaking. When I first bought the truck and drove it home from California, it, uh, it worked fine. I had no issues. But um, after putting almost 5,000 plus miles on the truck, the valves have started getting a little sticky. They move fine, but you'll actually hear a little leaking coming from it. Especially my trailer air supply after I've used it a few times. It'll bleed by and you can kind of wiggle it back and forth and usually get it to go away, but sometimes not. Well, I've actually got two brand new valves, but part of this channel is about field fixes. And if you end up getting pulled over by DOT and they're inspecting your truck, one of the big things that they're going to look for is air leaks. And um, when your truck shut off in the cab and they walk up and they're hearing air just pouring out from behind your dash, they could potentially deadline your truck. So we're going to attempt to address that with a little field fix. You can get you some air tool oil or some silicone lubricant. Try to stay away from uh, heavy petroleum-based ba petroleum stuff like WD-40 and PV Blaster and all that stuff. Uh, we don't want to degrade the O-rings. We just want a temporary field fix to help lubricate some stuff here. So first thing, start out by removing these little pop clips. Be careful with them. Uh, you'll have a little slot on both sides. You can take a flathead screwdriver on both sides and gently pry out. You'll remove all six of them. And uh, I'll show that here in just a moment. So then the next step you want to do is drain your air tanks. And then you're going to come back behind here. And you want to remove your air lines and give it a few drops of air tool oil or probably about three or four seconds of a blast if you have an aerosol. For this. So I did it, lubricated it, also sprayed down the front side right here. And uh, as you can see, it's still leaking slightly, went out, but nowhere near as loud as it was. It was continuously hissing on my truck. So yeah, there's the quick field fix for it.